Hello everyone, today is the 9th of April and I'm not at the plot because we have had the worst weather ever <laughs> over the last three days and it looks like it's going to be another week of horrible weather so I thought maybe I should sow some seeds. So I haven't actually sowed that many seeds yet and it's mainly because I didn't want to sow loads and then get overexcited and then not actually have somewhere to plant anything but now because I think the plot is like shaping up I've got a solid plan I think by the end of the week I will have six or seven beds in place I think it's time to actually sow stuff <laughs> so today I'm going to be sowing tomatoes, cosmos, nasturtiums, herbs, salads Basically what I've done is I've already filled all the trays and pots because I find that the most boring job ever. Um, so all the trays and pots are filled, everything's labelled, i just got to stick seeds in the modules and the pots now. So I feel like it's all becoming real now. <laughs> like I have a space to grow all these amazing things. The only things that I'm not sewing today are my beans, pumpkins and... I think that's it. Zinnias. I'm not sewing those mainly because I don't have enough pots and trays. Um, so I need to pot up my peppers so that I can use those trays for the beans, peas and squash and whatever else. So yeah, we're going to make like a really big dent in the seed sewing list because <laughs> I don't know if anybody else does this. <laughs> but I've actually like basically got a spreadsheet of all my seeds and um, noting down like the dates I'm sowing them and how many of each I want. Is that a little bit excessive? I don't know. I've also got a, like a proper plan for the allotment and my garden as well so yeah. If you can hear a saxophone that's Josh, she's practicing. Um, I'm going to quickly show you what I've already sown and what is growing currently but I am running out of space because this house doesn't have like wide windowsills and we've got bay windows as well so there's like no windowsill space to put anything on so everything's just like everywhere. Right let's check the seedlings out. So by my back door I have all of my peppers. Some are looking a little bit sad but the varieties I've got are Californian Wonder. These this is the first time I'm growing them and they are absolutely huge. They have grown the best out of all my chilies and peppers so far. I've got Corno de Toro Rosso, this one I grow every year. Um, paprikas, which I grew last year but didn't do very well. Then down here I have, basically they're getting a little bit leggy now because I don't have enough room under the grow lights and I'm kind of like switching, switching them and, and swapping them all around. I've got cayenne, jalapeno and under the grow light I have some snack peppers which are like mini little sweet peppers, uh, serrano, pepper dew and sugarous peach. Then I have some snapdragons <laughs> these are just a mix a colored like a mix of different colors um there's some cabbages and some sprouts and then under these grow lights i have more snapdragons some cornflower scabious and seed dahlias and then even more <laughs> more snapdragons over there i have some aubergines which did not do very well or very much. I'm going to pop this one up. Those aren't doing anything. And my soil is going a little bit green. Um, that's never happened before. I'm using a different compost this year. Yeah, maybe it's to do with my watering and the different compost. Um, yeah, I've never had green soil before. These actually need a bit of a water. I've got some leeks, some red onion, only two little violas germinated. Um, these are very laggy seed lupins, not seed lupins, annual lupins, um, hopefully they uh, will be okay. Then down here I've got some more sweet peas and French marigolds. So a lot of the seedlings out there are going to be taken to the greenhouse this week so that I have more room for all of these. Um, yeah, some of them are just looking a little bit rubbish so we'll see. 
doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if um, they like fail or die. <laughs> I've got time to sew some more. So yeah, we are gonna get on with sewing now because I feel like I've talked too much. So everything is filled and labelled. I just gotta stick the seeds in now. Um, I do have one mini little propagator, heated propagator, I mean, and I'm going to put my tomatoes and cucumber in here. I will show you all the varieties that I'm growing. Let's get on with it. So I actually have one of these seed boxes. Well, they're for photos, but everyone uses them to organise seed. And yeah, it's, it's overflowing. I've actually got three of these boxes as well full of seed. Um, I don't know what it is, like I buy a lot of seed but then I also get given a lot of seeds as well because everyone knows that I like gardening and growing things so I often get gifts of seed as well which is great because I don't think you can ever have too many seeds. <laughs> right we're gonna do tomatoes first and I've kind of narrowed it down to eight different varieties. So I love cherry tomatoes. I'm not really a big fan of like salad tomatoes, but my partner Josh is. And so I'm mainly growing cherry tomatoes just because I love them. And my favorite tomato is the Sun Gold. I love sweet cherry tomatoes. And basically I tend to just eat them straight off the plant. Like they don't even make it inside. Then I'm also growing Apero, which is another very nice, sweet um, cherry tomato. Another favourite tomato is the red currant tomato which is like an heirloom variety which is really teeny teeny tiny tiny little things they're like little berries and I just love them just like chuck a handful like on a pizza or in a pasta and they're just sweet and tiny and cute but I'll probably grow these in my garden rather than at the allotment just because um, they're so small and finicky to harvest. I'd rather have them like just right there like outside my door um, Then a new one I'm growing this year is mini bow, which is a bush Yeah, a bush variety and I'll probably also grow this one in my back garden rather than the allotment then the larger varieties I'm doing const 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 Costoluto Fiorentino. This one I grew last year and I really loved it. I just love the shape of them and they're just really pretty and a nice tasting tomato. Then I've got the Julietta, which is a plum variety. Black Russian, which is new for me this year. Um, I'm just growing it because I got given the seeds and they look pretty cool to be honest. And then lastly, I am growing Saint Saint. Pierre, Saint Pierre, which is a salad variety. Not grown this one before, but um, like I said, my partner likes salad tomatoes. And then for cucumbers, I am growing baby. It's called baby. <laughs> Last year I grew, I don't know, it was a small cucumber and it was, I really liked it, but I can't remember what it was called. So I bought the baby, the baby cucumber and yeah, we'll see how those are. So I'm going to whiz through the actual seed sowing part because if I talked through sowing each individual seed we would be here forever. This whole seed sowing session did actually take quite a long time. I think I started um, filling the trays and pots about 4pm, started to record the video a quarter past five and then I had a break for dinner and yeah to cook and clean and wash it up came back to the seed sowing and then didn't stop recording until like 10 p.m so i do start to look more and more tired throughout this video but i felt so happy that evening knowing that a lot of the stuff that i wanted to grow has been sown all right so the tomatoes and cucumbers are done i've sown four to six seeds of each tomato variety depends on how many plants i actually want and i sowed six of the baby cucumbers just because there was only six in the packet I thought why not hey <laughs> next I'm gonna sow some cosmos I am gonna grow three different types of cosmos this year pink pop sock is the cosmos that I grow every single year it's my favorite it's kind of pink with outer petals and then like a weird frilly center 
I love them. Then new I have bought Pink Mosaic, um, another pink one which I thought looked pretty and then I got given some Cosmos Apricotta uh, by my friend Khan and these look really pretty as well. So three very pretty Cosmos varieties and I think most of them are going to go to the plot but I also do tend to do like one big flower border of just Cosmos in my garden so yeah there's going to be lots of Cosmos. I'm going to sew three trays now if I feel like I need more then I will sew some more and I've also got some white Cosmos I think they're called Apollo um, but I don't have enough trays at the moment um, so we're going to do I think the pop socks I'm going to do two per cell because those seeds are a little bit old and yeah let's sew them I've just realised I only have a few of the pop socks left so I'm going to do one row pop sock pink and then one row of white and I think that'll be enough Cosmos hopefully maybe <laughs> we'll see yeah I really love Cosmos I just love the really bushy leafy lime green foliage and then the bright pink flowers especially on the pop socks they they're just so so pretty so yeah I plan to grow a lot of cosmos in both my garden and on the allotment plot this year right just had a break for dinner but now I'm back to seed sewing and we're gonna do nasturtium next and I absolutely love nasturtium so um, the ones I grow every single year are Purple Emperor and Jewel Cherry Rose. They're kind of like a bushy variety, um, or maybe trailing. I can't remember, but yeah, they're the ones I grow every year. And then Summer Carousel is another one that I've grown for the past few years. But for some reason, I get a majority of yellow flowers, and I want I want pink. <laughs> My favourite colour is pink, I need more pink. Um, so yeah, we're going to try a couple more of those. And then I've got like these super tall climbing nasturtiums. I'm going to do a, only about four or five of those, five or six or <laughs> just a few because they will go on the archway but I can't really put them anywhere else because they, they do go super, super tall. I grew them over um, an archway in my garden last year and they ended up growing like spreading out absolutely ever everywhere like these really long <laughs> long vines um, or tendrils I don't know what they are but um yeah we're gonna do two trays of nasturtium next <laughs> some herbs I'm going to do some basil first I love basil <laughs> I love it so so much oh, tomatoes and basil and just yeah yes please basil please okay we've got purple basil I grow that every year and it's nice <laughs> I like the color of it more than anything um, Greek basil and then some sweet basil I do have other varieties that I've grown in the past, but I'm just not that much of a fan of it. So um, I've done lemon basil and Thai basil and I grew it, but I didn't ever use it. So yeah, I'm not going to bother with that this year. And I also um, tried holy basil or purple Tulsi and that didn't really germinate or do anything so I'm not going to bother with that this year either uh, so yeah I'm just going to stick to sweet basil, purple basil and greek basil next I'm doing some dill and some regular chives I have garlic chives in the garden um, which I'll probably divide and take some to the plot, but I haven't got regular chives and I love the purple flowers. So yeah, chives and dill, I'm growing this. It's called dill nano and it's supposed to be like a small variety for pots. 
I tell you, it is not, because I grew it last year and the plants were absolutely huge. <laughs> so I'm gonna have probably one plant in the garden and then a couple at the allotment, just because the flowers, the pollinators like the flowers, so yeah. And I also really like dill. <laughs> I'm gonna sow some lettuces, chard and kale. What I think I'm gonna do is keep most of my lettuces in my garden just because they're more easily accessible if they're in my garden. And um, yeah, I'm kind of planning on keeping the larger crops or the less finicky crops at the allotment. Um, that's that's what I think anyway. I probably will stick like a couple of lettuces here and there, but a major majority of the lettuces will be in my back garden and especially the cut and come again lettuces. I can just pick however many leaves I need there and then. And I think that's the same with the herbs as well. Majority of herbs will be in my garden. Um just so they're easier to get like when I'm cooking. Um, so the varieties of lettuce I'm going to go for are obviously Little Gem. Little Gem are like my favourite lettuces. <laughs> um, then I've got Freckles which is like a speckly type of leaf. Um, I'm going to try some Green Cos. Cos. I don't really know what that says. <laughs> but I'm going to try this one anyway. Then I've got salad bowl. I think that's all for salad leaves at the moment, but I'm gonna sow some directly once I finish making my little salad container bed thing. Um, and then I'll have like rocket and lambs, what's it called? Lambs leaf, lambs, cress, I don't know, some of those. Um, yeah, but for now, I'll just start off some little lettuces now, so I, at least I have something going. <laughs> lamb's lettuce, that's what it's called. Yeah, so I'll do rocket, lamb's lettuce, sorrel, um, spinach, and mustard white. And then maybe some celery at home rather than at the plot. I've lost my lettuce label, as in the little sticky labels that I put on my boxes. It's probably it's probably in my hair or something. Don't know where that's gone. I'm going to do some black magic kale chard. I really want to try the rainbow chard but I got given these seeds so I'm just going to give these a go. I don't even know if I like chard so um, yeah I'll just use these seeds first and then if I really love chard then I'll get the rainbow one next year. Oh, and I'm also going to do some Romanesco cauliflower. I think I'm being a little bit ambitious because um, on my allotment plan, there's a cat up there. <laughs> on my allotment plan, oh. I don't know. Yeah, on my allotment plan, the brassica bed is probably going to be the last bed that I build so I feel a little bit ambitious starting my brassicas already like I've got my sprouts and my cabbage they're already sprouted growing over there yeah and I don't even have space for them yet so <laughs> Ooh, it's a bit like ooh. anyway I'm gonna try a couple of these Romanesco um cabbages anyway not cabbages cauliflowers right Let's sow those. Also, I know you can sow the chard directly now, but I don't have a bed for it yet. <laughs> so I'm just gonna start a couple off in this tray and and if nothing happens, when I finally build the bed, I'll sow some direct, but yeah. Excuse me, can you get down please? Alright, we 
we are almost done. I'm gonna do some sunflowers, marigolds, borage, courgettes, and some more snapdragons. But I'll show you what sunflowers I'll be growing. So this one, which I haven't done before, there's no picture, but I'll put a picture up. Um, it's called orange mahogany, and I think it's multi, what's it called? Not multi stem, multi flower head. <laughs> As in, it's not just one stem with one flower on top. So that will be nice and bushy, I hope. And then I've got the giant single as well. But last year, my sunflowers got really stressed out, as in these, the single ones, and they ended up producing more than one head. Um, and I don't know whether that's because of the weather or because of being transplanted, but yeah, they all had multiple flower heads. So I'm gonna do a couple per pot and then depending on what germinates I'll just split them up later. Let's do tall first. I really love sunflower seeds, just like they're so cute. <laughs> Black and white stripey and they feel nice. <laughs> I'm going to sow the rest of this packet of French marigolds just because um, the ones that I do have, they didn't really germinate very well, so I'm just going to use the packet up and see what germinates, otherwise I might have to buy some more French marigold seeds. That might look a little bit excessive, but honestly, like, barely any have germinated, so Let's just use them up and see what happens. Next we have borage and I grow this every year. So I'm gonna make sure that I have a big patch of it on the allotment. So I'll probably sow some direct, but I'm gonna start some off in a pot now. Um, they're usually quite reliable. So I think I'm gonna put six in a pot and then split them up later. We'll see. So I'll probably sow my pumpkins next week or the week after um, just because they grow fast and I don't have enough pots and compost. Um, same as my beans, I'll do those next week or the week after as well. But for courgettes, which I'm going to sow right now, I absolutely love this Romanesco. So nice. It just tastes so nice. <laughs> and I grow them every year and they are the nicest courgette I've ever grown. Um, so I'm going to do probably one plant for my garden and two for the allotment. You might think that's a lot of courgette, but I could eat courgette every day and in the summer I will eat courgette every single day. So I'm going to do a couple of Romanesco plants and I think I'm going to do the Black Beauty this year. In the past I've done Defender, but I don't, uh, it's alright, like it's not my favourite and I found it's not as prolific as the Romanesco so I'm going to do a couple of Black Beauty. Yeah maybe having like six courgette plants is excessive but I don't think so, <laughs> I don't think so, I really like courgette. <laughs> okay I'm going to do three seeds in each pot and then if they don't all germinate, then I'll do more because can't have enough courgettes. Whether I film another seed sowing video or not, I don't know if I will because, yeah, the next things I'm sowing are beans and squash. And the beans I grow, I'm going to be growing are the cobra French beans and some dwarf French beans. And then I think the runner beans I grow are moonlight, I think. But if you're interested in the squash, and pumpkins I'm growing, I'll be growing Jilby Little, which is a little mini pumpkin, and those are what I've grown on the archway in the past. So I'll definitely grow those on the archway this year. Then I'll also try Uchiki Kuri. Uh, this is my favourite, favourite, favourite squash. I absolutely love it. 
um, and they are so expensive in the shop so I have grown them for two years in a row and I usually get like one or two per plant so I'm hoping with more space in the allotment I'll get like more fruits per plant or be able to grow more plants to get more fruit basically. So I'm going to try a couple of you cheeky queries up over the archway with the little baby pumpkins and I'll have some Futsu black pumpkins. I'm not too sure how you pronounce that but they are another Japanese variety and they look really cool and apparently they taste similar to the Uchiki Kuri's. And finally I'll have Queensland blue pumpkins in the back pumpkin patch which I intend to leave to just run, <laughs> run free. Um, and then I might also do some patty pan squash. These little ones, I've done them in the past and grown them in a bucket which wasn't that successful because they dried out quite a bit. So yeah, I'm going to have lots of squash this year and I love squash and pumpkin so yeah. <laughs> Finally, I, I think I'm done with the sewing. It's just the snapdragons left. Um, but my battery's about to die. So I will just say now, thank you so much for watching. I hope you are interested in seeing what I'm growing and sewing. I am feeling so excited now. I can't wait to see all these things grow and be able to plant stuff out in the allotment. I know I've still got quite a bit of work to do. Hopefully this week, the weather's looking really good for Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So I'm hoping I can spend those three days at the plot and I can get another three beds done and dusted. So there'll be the pumpkin bed, which is joined to the archway, the further back pumpkin bed for the Queensland Blue, and then the long side border bed. So yeah, if I can get those three beds like ready, um, that'll be amazing. <laughs> And then of course I'll have to sort the greenhouse as well, but yeah, we'll see. Anyway, thank you so so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, I will see you at the allotment block very soon, bye!